Is this already opened? Yeah, it's been around so long it shrunk up to us considering it's not <laughs> oh, and the little thing came off. Um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to let y'all pass this around. Why would this be, why would, just looking at that, why would you have reason to be scared? Just out of curiosity. You see something on the, on the, that little tag that makes you kind of iffy? The characters. Chinese writing. <laughs> and no copyright information again. Here it wow. This is this is oh because the little thing fell this off. This is old. This is classy. Sailor Moon bootleg. And see how washed out it is. Yeah, you can I can see you. Coffee. I can see all of you through this wall scroll. That's not true. It's it smells like paint too. Um the thing about wall scrolls, aside from uh, the ones that we have now legitimately for American distribution, um Usually the craftsmanship of the wall scroll itself gives it away. Um, really, really washed out colors. I say they look like they're printed on an inkjet. Um, there was a Full Metal Alchemist scroll that we saw. We actually busted a store in San Antonio. And it was. And it, the funny thing is they sold comic book stuff, but they wouldn't dare bootleg the comic book stuff, but all the anime stuff is bootleg. Um, and the Full Metal Alchemist wall scroll was like this. You can literally like look through it and see things. Um, and the funny thing is we took someone from Funimation with us when we went into the store, so it was really awesome. Um, again, Great Eastern, 99% of all of the wall scrolls that you see sold here in the States are Great Eastern. Even the non-anime, like the Silent Hill wall scrolls, the ones with, you know, uh, Pyramid Head on them, those are also Great Eastern. And they say GE yeah, yeah. and then numbers yeah. after and on the, the tag. The GE, the GE logo, if y'all, if y'all want to come find... Uh, this afterwards and want to just take a look at the logo. The GE logo is super, super easy to identify. And uh, and and they pretty much run the market of wall scrolls in the States. Yeah, if it um, doesn't say GE and it's a wall scroll, it ain't going to be legit. Yeah, Unless they've yeah. got something from Japan I'm not aware yeah. of. And the, the Japanese wall scrolls, <laughs> you'll know okay. because you didn't buy them for $20. There is a very limited edition, and big surprise, I collect Sayuki merchandise. Um, there is a limited edition life-size Son Goku scroll, and I've seen knockoffs sold in the States for like $25, $35. That scroll is $70, if you can find it. And it's probably worth more than that because they don't make it anymore. That's a dead giveaway for the CDs, too. You yeah. the bootlegs are $15, a legit Japanese CD, not an American one, but a Japanese one is usually $30, $40. Yeah, yeah. Um, nice. Oh, there's one other thing I want to do real fast. Um, should I put it back? I don't think it wants to oh, go I back. Oh, yeah. thank you. You're, I'm sure you're much better at that than me. <laughs> I don't know. When I, get, I get to a point where I just give up. <laughs> um, there's one last thing since I, we made jokes about it and I haven't talked about it yet. Um, there, the Enix, yeah, the Square Enix thing. Uh, I love them. I do too. I, and, I, and I love them as a company. I love the stuff they produce. Um, there has recently been a rash of people making Square Enix uh, replicas, swords specifically. Um, whether it's Keyblades, which you're messing with two companies when you make Keyblades, because you're messing with not just Square Enix, but Disney as well, because you've got the very, very copyright protected and uh, public domain law bending Disney's favorite character silhouette. You've got Mickey Mouse's silhouette hanging off the end of the Keyblade as well as Enix's weapon uh, for the game. There is no official Keyblade. You cannot buy a legitimate Keyblade anywhere in the United States. Uh, in fact, Square Enix does not make replica swords of any type. I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that, I should repeat myself. They do, but they're this big, and they're not really weapons, and sometimes they're on necklaces, and they're really expensive. expensive yeah. And you can buy them from the Square Enix website, the Square Enix store on their website. Um, and that's the thing, like, if I'm a fan, why would I want to, why would I want to wait? I just buy it directly from the Square Enix store. The Square Enix store is pretty amazing if you've never visited. It's a work of Because there's so much there. There is yeah. really so much but to dig through. I was about using a credit card because I wanted to buy a, a cell phone charm because uh -huh. I was like, I can't pay 200 for the necklace. Yeah, yeah. I can take but you can take the, yeah, the $30 the for 30 that. The $30 cell phone charm, just do the same thing with yeah. it. It's like, well, you need this much in order for you to use it. And it's like, you're breaking credit card logs at the same time, but at least you're selling a legitimate thing. Oh, whether you mean you have the, the credit card orders or a minimum purchase? Yeah. Wow. I didn't they know that they do that now. It was I 15 bucks, and I was like, oh, I'm going to go buy one. 
want to do like no 25 or more it's like wow really i guess i guess i mean there are restaurants that do that so i guess it's not against the law because restaurants do that like there's a really awesome japanese place we eat at it's and it's 15 dollar minimum on a credit card purchase so um um I don't, I don't know if that, I'll have to look into that. I didn't realize they do that. But usually anything that I've looked at or somebody else is interested in purchasing is more than that. So, because there's stuff on their site is, you know, a little pricey. Um, but you will see at conventions many people selling knockoff swords. Um, those swords are not just bad because I don't agree with the people selling the swords. They're also extremely dangerous. Um, people that make swords and people, is there anybody familiar with swords or fencing or anything like that? How many of you are familiar with the term full tang? Okay. That means that, <laughs> I love that like, you, people that are like, yes. That means that the blade does not simply stop where the handle begins. It goes all the way down through the handle. That gives the sword stability. Almost 90% of these swords are not full tang swords. And we actually were at a convention where a kid was using one as a cosplay prop and the blade flew out towards the audience. It didn't get anybody in the audience, but perfect example of why you don't buy crappy swords. I lied. You They're dangerous. Have Here's the thing. Enix is not playing around with this vendor. There's one specific vendor that has been traveling all over the country selling duplicates and replicas of not just that sword, but the buster sword and the gun blade and everything else you can imagine. Um, there is a great sword vendor, and I only see him at one or two conventions, but he has this big sign that says, we do not sell any Final Fantasy sword as there is no legal option for doing so. And he goes and lists, you know, like anything that you see that is Square Enix related is illegal. And I even posted, I took a picture of it and put it on my Facebook because I thought it was funny. But um, there was a convention recently where another vendor was selling Keyblades and was pulled aside um, by legal representation of Enix and said, look, you cannot sell this. This is unlicensed merchandise. This is illegal. Um, and we have the right to prevent you from selling. I think she had four left. We have the right to prevent you from selling the remaining ones that you have, and we can prosecute you. We are willing to do, and this is amazing. This tells me how bad they want this guy. We are willing to give you permission, and we are the only people in the world that can give you legal permission to sell these remaining Keyblades. And we will do so, provided they not be sold for anything over $25, which I love that they enforce a price on it, too. And you give us the name of the source that you got these from. They want this guy. Because this man's been served with legal papers several times, and his answer is to change the name of his business and disappear. laugh and keep going. But the thing is, he's sloppy. He's everywhere. I just, and I've been able to get a hold of somebody two weekends ago, I could have had him busted. I walked in and I'm like, it's that guy. And I look and he's got key plates hidden behind his table. Um, we have a group of people now working, working to help the companies do what they legally have a right to do. That'll make us sound better than we're out to get this vendor. Um, but, uh, They'll get him. They'll get him. It's only a matter of time.